What's up guys and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be doing an interior detail of a 2008 Honda Odyssey and it's going to be pretty interesting because I've never done a mini event so it's going to be it's going to be fun to see how long it takes and yeah let's get started all right so starting by taking a look at the carpet it was just filled with a lot of stains so kind of food trash and debris so we're gonna be busting the extractor and the vacuum today now taking a look at the dashboard the middle compartment the door jams door panels everything in general it was just filled with a lot of dust and grime so it's gonna be a lot of work but definitely worth it at the end all right so before starting the detail consider following my instagram as i usually post sneak peeks and more as well as subscribing to the channel if you want to keep watching content like this or if you don't want to miss any future videos So this being a minivan it's really easy to take out the seats and it just makes your life easier whenever vacuuming and extracting as you can get every single spot and don't miss anything. Alright so after taking the seats out you want to start by taking out any floor mats, any trash, any personal items and what I do I have two different bags or as many bags as I need to separate all the trash and all personal items so I can give it to the owner after I'm done with the detail. And this is my favorite part because you can find really cool things but also you gotta remember you're detailing this vehicle for a reason so you can also find some really nasty stuff. And as you can see they had all kinds of stuff in here so that's why I like to separate everything so they can decide what to do with all that. Alright, so after taking all the trash and items out, it's finally time to vacuum. And like I said in previous videos, it's the most important step because it just makes the inside look way better just by doing so. So here I changed to a different attachment for the vacuum 
and as you can see it really helps to get all that big trash and debris and it just makes your life easier when vacuuming now here i change to the smaller nose attachment because that one really helps me to get into all those crack and crevices and to all those side spaces that the other one can't really get into And for all of you guys wondering what kind of vacuum I use, I got the rigid 4 gallon portable vacuum and I really like it because it just does what you need to get all these carpets vacuumed and it also has a really reasonable price. Now another thing that I want to point out is that this carpet was really easy to vacuum but sometimes you get some cars that have really cheap carpets and it just takes a long time to vacuum. Now these plastic trims were really filthy so I knew they had to come off and it also helps me to get them clean faster and easier and not make a mess and get the carpet even dirtier. And as you can see, if we wouldn't had removed all those plastics, we would have left all that grammar under there. Now finally moving into the cleaning step, I start by using my favorite APC which is my Quartz Detailer APC and now in this case I'm using a harder bristle brush because these panels were really dirty and full with grime so it was just better to tackle it with the harder bristle brush and for the smaller parts I used my softer detail brush because that one really helps you to get into all those small cracks and crevices. And after done using the brushes and getting everything clean, I like to wipe everything down so I can leave it dry and ready for the next step. Alright, so after wiping off everything and making sure everything's cleaned, I like to use my favorite UV protectant which is 303 Aerospace and it really helps you leave all the plastic trims like brand new. And you can't forget the last step which is to clean the windows with your favorite glass cleaner.
Now this side panel was really dirty so I had to give it a few passes to leave it all clean. And you can't forget to clean the door jams and seals which makes your job just stand out a lot more. And if you guys are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Alright, so in here I just wanted to give you guys a close up so you can see how dirty these panels were. Now cleaning the seats on this minivan was so easy because there were leather seats and also I don't know what it is about leather but I just love cleaning it and then conditioning it and just leaving it smelling good and looking like new. And just so you guys can see how dirty these seats were, here's a before and after clips.
all right so just another quick little tip just to make sure you get everything clean you want to recline the seats all the way down so you can get into all those spaces that you can't really get if you don't do so you always want to make sure you don't forget to open any compartment because that can really make a difference between a good detail from an excellent detail So whenever working on this section, you don't want to spray it directly into the panel because you can get some APC in there and mess up any electrical stuff. So what I like to do is to spray some APC into my detail brush and agitate it. That way you can be safe and not damage anything. Now whenever you clean the shipping up you always want to make sure you move it up and down so you can get into all those cracking crevices and those sites that you can't really see whenever it's parked and don't get disappointed whenever you're done and you remember you didn't clean that. As well as cleaning the actual shifting up because that's the most touched part of the car and it's really important that you don't miss that small detail. And just like the shipping knob, you cannot forget about detailing the steering wheel. And here I'm using my soft horsehair brush to leave it clean and removing that sticky feel. And just like in all plastic trims and panels, you cannot forget about protecting it with your favorite UV protectant. And after all those hours of cleaning and vacuuming, it's finally time to extract. And I know some of you guys want to see some real time extraction, but this video was really long as it was, so 
I hope you guys enjoy this slow motion extraction. And some of you guys been asking if this is a heated extractor and the answer is no. I have to put hot water every time I use it but I don't mind as it really does a good job. And most of the times this is the dirtiest part of the carpet being the driver's side but in this case the floor mats did a really good job from keeping them to doing so but it was just that top left side that made me struggle a little but nonetheless I tried my best and gave it a few passes to leave them looking all good. And also you can guys see how dirty these carpets were, here's a little clip. And before this video comes to an end, I just want to thank everyone subscribing, watching my videos, and don't forget to like it. And also feel free to comment anything down below as I always reply to all the comments. Now this being a minivan, it had about 8 floor mats, but in this case I only show you how I clean one. But here's a little clip of how dirty the other ones were. Now I hope you guys enjoy these transformation clips. <laughs> 